South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation SARC, was formed on the high ideals of organizations like European Union or ASEAN, but it did falter in realizing its objectives. Why? Let's see. Successful working of political and economic integration of Western Europe after the World War II demonstrated that nations of the world can live in harmony and peace with better cooperation and economic integration. The ideal mechanism of regional integration was manifested ultimately in the formation of the European Union. SAR as an idea was conceived and proposed by then Bangladeshi President Mr. Ziaur Rahman with great hope to integrate an area which was least integrated in the world on May 2, 1980. South Asia as a region constitute one of the significant regions of the world that comprise 3% of the world's areas, 21% of the world's population and 4.21% of the global economy. The region is home to two nuclear armed nations which are at loggerheads with each other. No concrete efforts were made to have strong regional integration in South Asia. The abrupt change in attitude of 1970s and 80s was made by the following factors. Change in the political leadership in South Asian countries like Ziaur Rahman in Bangladesh, Ziaur Haq in Pakistan, Rajiv Gandhi in India. Ziaur Rahman's need for Indian support to legitimize his wounded rich and acute balance of payment crisis of almost all South Asian nations, increased protectionism by the developed countries. Different meetings held by foreign secretaries 1981-83 and foreign ministers 1983-1985 finally led to the official formation of SARC when first SARC summit was held at Dhaka on December 7-8-1985. At Dhaka summit, the charter of SARC was adopted with seven nations as its signatory with India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan and Maldives. Afghanistan was admitted as 8th member of SARC on April 2007. The member states are legally bound to follow the provisions of SARC Charter. However, the Charter excludes bilateral, contentious and security matters from the discussions. It focuses more on issues that are of socio-economic nature. of the SARC was on issues like population, health, poverty, communication, postal, agriculture, rural development, finance, economy, trade, energy, climate change, transport, etc. Agreements that were signed over the period of time by SARC were Agreement on establishing the SARC Food Security Reserve Agreement on establishing the SARC Food Bank Agreement on South Asian Free Trade Area SEFTA Agreement on establishing the SARC Seed Bank SARC Agreement on Rapid Response to Natural Disasters SARC Agreement on Implementation of Regional Standards Despite its lofty ambitions, SARC has not become a regional association in the mold of the European Union or the African Union. Its member states are plagued by internal divisions, most notably the conflict between India and Pakistan. Major factors for its failure are 
trust deficit, border disputes, lack of political will, external interference, political disagreements, geographic and economic disparity, domestic politics. Two, the common challenges that the region faces like COVID pandemic, climate change, poverty, cyber crime, terrorism, etc. If the member states compartmentalize their differences and work on mutually agreed areas, Sark Sittal has a hope for being a successful regional organization.